welcome to the tutorial on how to properly configure the Trustmaster TCA quadrant and add-on in Phoenix Simulations 8320. If the video helps you and you like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks! First go to Options and then to Controls Options. Then select the TCA Q Engine 1 and 2 controller in the upper right corner then click on Preset Manager in the lower left corner. In the Preset Manager, your current profile is displayed. Select Standard and click on Duplicate. This way, you make sure that the default key assignments are already preset. Now you can give the profile a name of your own, confirm with OK. Now go to the filters in the middle left and select Assigned. Then click on Expand Collapse All. Now you see that the default keys are assigned. If no function is assigned, do step 1 again. Important are now the spoilers and flaps axis. Make sure that you click reverse axis for both. Scroll down until you get to power management and throttle. The default setting here is throttle axis 0 to 100%. We need to change this for the calibration to work. Now click in the upper left corner in the field search by name and enter throttle 1. We now see the current selection in the red circle. Click now in the field to the right of throttle 1 axis. Then click into the field start scanning. You have to set the left thrust lever to full reverse to make it work. Afterwards set it to idle again. You will get an error message because the axis is assigned to two functions. Ignore this and click on Validate. We now see that the axis is assigned to two functions. Make sure that you have checked reverse axis for throttle 1 axis. Then click on throttle 1, 0 to 100% in the field where the axis is located. Now press Clear Input and Confirm. Now we do the same for the second throttle. Just enter throttle 2 in the upper left corner. Same procedure. Click into the field at throttle 2, select start scanning, drag the right throttle to max reverse and again to idle. Confirm this. Remove the axis at throttle 2 axis 0 to 100% and validate. Now press apply and save in the lower left corner. Now let's take care of the sensitivity. Here you have to set the sensitivity for the thrust levers so that you have a straight line from the bottom left to the top right. You can do this by setting all values except reactivity to zero. Press apply and save again. Now we switch back to the main menu and select the world map. Click on the aircraft selection in the upper left corner. Then click on all in the upper right corner and select the category airliners. Now make sure that you have selected the Phoenix A320. The check mark in the upper left corner is the confirmation. Now select the gate at an airport of your choice and set it as departure. Now click on fly at the bottom right and wait for the simulator to load. Once in the cockpit, we don't use the flypad to configure the controls as we do with the fly -by wire A320. Instead, we do everything in the MCDU. For this, you have to give power to the airplane. Press external power and wait until the MCDU is loaded. When you do the calibration for the first time, it is possible that the thrust levers are not exactly aligned. If they do not move at all, check that you have selected the correct axis in the settings. Make sure you are on the MCDU menu. If you are in another menu, press the MCDU button below the screen. Then press config. We are now in the simulator control menu. Press Controls Config in the lower left corner. Now we are in the Thrust Levers menu. Use the right arrow to go to the Side Stick and Rudder menu and the Flaps menu. Go back to the Thrust Levers menu. 
If you have already done a calibration, press Clear Calibration. Now you see that these rust levers are not synchronized. Now press Calibrate. Move the thrust levers to max reverse position. Top left and right should now read 0%. Then click on next step. Now bring the thrust levers into the idle reverse position. I recommend to set them much further towards full reverse, otherwise the distance to idle might be too small. Press next step and move the thrust levers to idle position. Then press next step again and move the thrust levers to climb. Then press next step again and move the thrust levers to flex MCT. Confirm again with next step and move the thrust levers to toga. You should now see 100% at the top left and right. Then press store calibration. As you can see, the thrust levers are now calibrated. You can see the values in display on the left and right. I recommend to set them the same way you use the thrust levers, so it is not important that both are 100% the same. Now we take care of the calibration of the flaps. To do this, use the arrow keys on the MCDU to go to Flaps menu. If there is already a calibration here, then delete it. Then click on Calibrate. Now set your lever for the flaps to up. In the upper left corner you will see 0% in blue. If it is the other way around and you see 100%, go to the settings and click on Reverse Axis for flaps and spoilers. Confirm with a click on Next Step. The display now shows that the flaps are set to 1. Do this and confirm with next step. Then set them to 2, confirm, set the flaps to 3 and confirm. Finally set them to full and press next step. In the upper left corner it says 100%. Then press store calibration. Now try if it worked. The lever for the spoiler should work without calibration. With this we are done. I now show you the sensitivity settings I chose. I find this makes the aircraft respond a little more smoothly to the movements of the thrust levers. Again, select TCA Q Engine 1 and 2 in the control options. Then click on sensitivity in the upper left corner. I've gone up and down a little bit on the sensitivity here, as well as changing the dead zone and neutral. If you do this now, please be aware that you will have to do the calibration all over again. When you are done, click on confirm and then on apply and save. You can also try around and find the right values for you. With these settings, the thrust lever reacts less directly. Remember that you have to restart the calibration in the MCDU. If you have any further questions, Phoenix Simulation has a FAQ section with great tips. To do this, log in and go to the dashboard. Here you can find your purchases but also the knowledge base. Click on it and enter your topic. Here you can also read the steps again should it not yet work as it should. If you liked the video and it helped you, then I would appreciate a thumbs up. Feel free to write me in the comments. If you want to see more of the Microsoft Flight Simulator, think about subscribing. Thanks for checking it out. Until then, stay healthy, ciao ciao and bye bye.